It's mutant bobblehead day for the first 10,000 fans with extra limbs here at Three Mile Island Stadium here in Steeltown, Pennsylvania. I got seven extra knuckles, Grim. Hey, extra fingers and toes don't count. And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The Hexon Oilers take on the Blitzburg Steelheads. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hi everyone, Grim Blitzrow with you on MFL Game Day. Hey, uh, Briggs, do you smell something burning? Ah, thanks for reminding me. I left my rubber foot in the toaster oven to warm it up. Last time I left it there too long, it came out like Saganaki. Oh, uh -huh. It's freezing in here. Hey, why don't you take a shampoo and ouzo, stick your head in the toaster oven, that'll warm you up. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. This is your brain, and this is your brain on Berserker. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham a sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. First and ten. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. First down and three. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Ripley when you need her to bust out the big guns. Man, he's just leaving one big skid mark out there. You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. Home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. And it's first and ten. And the ball is lateral to his teammate. We're talking strong oh, with the punishing hit. Second down and five. And he punched his way out of that tackle. And that'll be a first down. You know, Bricks, a lot of people have gotten pass happy in this league. Nice to see some old school mano a mano on the turf, huh? And it's first and ten. He just got crushed. And it's first and ten. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Second down and ten. It's a first down from a great catch. Was it a 
catch, though. Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. First down and seven. Second down and five. And that'll bring up third down and seven. says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. <laughs> Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. Hunter's going to find it, and he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you, and the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. Hunt. Hunt one. Hunt. No, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Second down and ten. Hunt. Hunt one. Third down and long. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. The defense better look out. The offense called the beast boost dirty trick. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Hot one. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. 
Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. That's a four-yard gain. Second down and six. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. First in and three. And he runs it in for the touchdown. And viewers at home, don't worry, he doesn't have fleas. He's just not a very good dancer. I have fleas and I can't dance that good. I would uh, think you to stay on the other side of the booth, Bricks. Shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. First down! And this guy is a stud, Bricks. And tell him me! Nice run! No, I mean, he's a real stud. He works at the Mutant Stud Farm weekends and summers. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot, hot, hot. And that's an incomplete pass. Looks like the defense got away with that one there. Honey! Second down and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot. How do you miss a bomb kill right in someone's face? This your first time playing the game? Hey, you with the controller in your hand. I'm talking to you. Third down and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot two. Hot three. Interception, and that's how you stop an offense. gonna hurt he may not be able to comprehend math after that hit what's math exactly and it's first and ten that my friends was an all pro NFL hit Second down and two. The Roid Rage Dirty Trick transforms a player into a rampaging lunatic for the duration of the play. I know that's typical of all MFL players, and he bursts into the end zone for the score! What a run! Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? 
straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. Hot one, hot two. Three. Looks Whoa. like a pass, and it's bouncing right back. They boom. <laughs> Second down, and more than the QB would like. Hot one, hot two. Hot. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. Third down and eight. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pig, Rim. You're right. And it's first and ten. Pressure right there, folks. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Ah, oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blast for me. The ground game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet? The timeout is called by the cornerback. They have one left. Second down and two. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. And here comes the extra point attempt. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. Hot one. And he sticks his fingers in the defender's eyes. Netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And yeah, for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry up offense. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. Quickly calls their second time out. That's how you do it. Do what? And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Oh, 
sure now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I know so much. And that's it. That's the last time out. It's score or die from here out. For a kick this far, you just got to kick it as hard as you can, partner. And aim. It's really important from this distance. That's probably a smart idea. And it's good. You know, Grim, in this league we're mad. If you get one more bullshit penalty, you get one more for free. You'll also probably lose the game. Just do the attack ref dirty trick. And this is a first and, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. And that is a big gain. You know the defense wants some payback after that. Second down and long. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the halftime show. It's still anyone's game here as we start the third quarter. Oh, I missed it, man. I was out in the concourse grabbing some food, and there was this mutant leopard line, and he left in an angry hop. Why did he leave, Bricks? Well, people kept dipping their chips in him. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! Should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? The kick the kick his job in half? They just be called sinners then. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick. The only thing the QB can do now is run for his life. Or die. Second down and a lot. Hot. Hot one. That's a big game run on that. Third and two. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. They go to the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done. And it's first and ten. The defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. Second down and nine. Hot. Hot one. Hot. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And a 
Saints, first and ten. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Second down and ten. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. First down and six. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And the crowd goes wild. Touchdown, touchdown. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Second and three. down and the punter is warming up oh i love this dirty trick feed by fo fum stomp him into the ground the dirty bum <laughs> well they couldn't pick up a first down so now they have to punt Should move him back nicely. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot Killer, it was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. Hot one, hot two. Quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. And there's an eight-yard catch. Chipping away with those medium passes. I like it. Like a patient prison break. Second down and two. Hot, hot one. Hot two. Hot. Mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right 
through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. And he picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and six. Oh, with a brutal hit. We're tied up at the end of the third quarter. You can smell the excitement on the fans. I mean, literally, it is ripe in here. Man. Dunya, was that you? Hey, follow me. Caught for the first down. And it's first and ten. Left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. That means you can make it's a touchdown! And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass. First and ten. You can tell he's a berserker because he's frothing at the mouth. Oh, that guy? Oh, he's a dead one. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. That's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. Second down and two. Oh, nice hit! And it's first and ten. to the races. Here comes the defense. He's at the 10. Touchdown! And he rumbles that one in the end zone. Nicely done. I can't run like that unless it's coupon night at Taco Hell. He has better footwork though than me on account of not clenching his cheeks though.
this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. into a four-yard pickup there. Second down and six. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Hot one, hot two. Hot. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nice. If you don't kill this ref with the attack ref dirty trick, you're going to lose, pal. You kind of deserve it if you're this dance, ref. I don't even know it. They're back up here on first, and they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. When in a hurry up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. There's a huge gain, and this offense is rolling. Come on, Grim, that was a pass play. Rolling plays it. Under two minutes, a timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? Grim, can I kill him? Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out, the quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. And the hurry up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. Hot, hot one, hot two. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. When the defense calls Thunderclap, the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, you ever hear that Zappa song, Watch Out Where the Huskies Go? Don't you eat that yellow snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But them fudge ice cream sandwiches, eh, they didn't taste so good. And this guy's running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. 
The defense just used their last time out, and there's still plenty of game left to play. Well, congratulations. You just played yourself. Memes won't make you cool, Brick, no matter what your mom says. Oh, man, about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. We know this quarterback likes to play with soft balls, but the defense, they're playing with big balls and just crushed his balls. That's a lot of balls, Grim. <laughs> Third down and five. The QB looks angry at his offensive line, and I can't blame him. The Blitzburg Steelheads go down in defeat. It was close for a while, but in the end, it was just too much for them, and they couldn't get it done. Sounds like your wedding night, doesn't it? Hey, they got pills for that. You know that commercial where they show a mummy getting a photo? What the hell are you talking about, Bricks? I don't know. I get confused often. I'm on a lot of painkillers. Well, moving right along, let's hear what the MVP has to say. <laughs> Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microheart Corporation. They get it right every up.